situated a little bit here. Okay, you guys wanna see? Here's our next card. So I had to go with kind of a Christmas theme because I loved that. Warm wishes for a happy Christmas. So we've got a fun sentiment right there, right? Where's my stamp set now? It's like buried. Oh, I guess it's right here. Yeah, so where is it? There we go. Warm wishes for a happy Christmas. So we've got lots of kind of year-round sentiments and then they threw a Christmas like holiday one in there too, right? Okay, so let me tell you about this card. And then I had so much fun. This is the largest die right there. Um, in the hippo dies, that other label. So I'm going to show you exactly how we do our die cutting on those pieces right there. Okay. All right. And we use some of the whisper white crinkled seam binding ribbon. So we'll use that too. Okay. Just jade ink is what we're going to use on our sentiment. Let's put that up there. And I have a little note to myself because I did this a while ago. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay. This is what it kind of looks like when you're all done. <laughs> I, my note is like the um, steps what order to put things on in. Okay, so we will get to that. Let's see, all right, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I was actually like way ahead of the game, ladies, and I designed this card a little while ago, which is kind of unusual, so it's a little bit like not as fresh in my mind. <laughs> so I'm trying to like, I'm not, I shouldn't have told you guys that. You would have never known otherwise, right? Okay, so just jade cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card base, what we will start with. Then we have a piece, another piece of just jade cardstock that measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches. And that one, if you can see kind of in the light there, right, we embossed it with the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. So we will do that in just a little bit. And then I have, these are just scrap pieces of Whisper White and Just Jade to do our um, label dies. And you can see, actually, I used the exact same label dies on both of those cards, but I love how they layer together. And I think they look different almost. I mean, they're, they're the same, but yet they look different with the different um, sentiments and the fonts on there too. And then I have, this is a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures three and a half by four and a half. And this is basically what we're going to just layer everything on. So can you kind of see that, right? And then I had, these are just full pieces and they don't even need to be quite this big. They're all the same size. It's just basically a quarter, basically a quarter of a sheet of cardstock at four and a quarter by five and a half. So we've got real red, just jade, and garden green on there. Okay. So this is what we're going to do our die cutting on to make our plaid right here. Okay. So let's do let's do our die cutting first. So you guys can see, and then yeah. So we have a few steps to do on this one. So. Here we go. That's why I kind of wanted to speed up the other card because I knew if we did die cutting on both of them, that we would be here for a little bit. Okay, so let's see. I need my cheat notes here, right? So the red is the plaid. Okay, so the two green ones are what we're gonna do. Where are my dies? So I really am organized, but it's not feeling like it at the moment. Okay, so we're gonna do, we've got this one in garden green. Okay, and I only have one on there. Okay, these are so clear and not used, I can't find them <laughs> very well. You know, once they're used for a while, then like, you know, they're so etched in that you can, you can see them. So what I'm finding is that this is super tight, and so I didn't have to go back and forth quite as many times as I have previously with my previous die cutting machine, I guess I should say. So these things, can you see how I'm just popping all the squares out? I thought it, I, I was thinking I wanted to keep those to use somewhere. Now where? Hmm. So I do have my paper, oh, here it is. I'm like, where's my paper piercing tool? But yeah, crafter math is definitely set in on this table today, ladies. Okay. Oh, you know what, as I'm doing that, I should have poked. What I should have done was poke right here in these holes. If you poke those three holes right there, then you can carefully lift this out. Okay, just don't pull too hard because you don't want to rip it, okay? So there's one. Then you just dump all those green pieces off somewhere. And then you do it again with your Just Jade cardstock, okay? So Lily was a big helper at class, and she die cut these things for most everybody. After I figured out, okay, we... <laughs> Lily, help! <laughs> so she was there doing all the die cutting for us, which everyone really appreciated. Okay, 
So just pop those, sorry, did you even see that? I just popped all the squares out. Now we are just gonna poke, I just think you have to poke those three to kind of lift something up out of there. And yeah, the embossing diamonds are really pretty. I think I used them on last week's card too because I couldn't find my embossing folder for a while. And then I realized, oh, it's because it's in the tub from, whoops, last week's Facebook Live card too. Okay, so again, you see all those little squares? We're gonna just dump those off. And, oops, nope, here we go. One more time. We are gonna die cut our red with the plaid die now, okay? So we've got this one here. Just lay that right on there. And then our other, actually I wanna scoot that up. It's like really close to the edge. There we go. Okay, so this one I am gonna go back and forth. So sorry if it wiggles a little bit. This one has so much detail that I think you kind of just give yourself a break and um, go back and forth a time or two. So we're gonna go back through one more time. Sorry, I know it's wiggly wiggly, isn't it? Uh, okay, ooh, there we go. Use your muscles, ladies. Okay, get like a little workout there. <laughs> okay, so some of these pop out and some of them do not because some of them are meant to be on here, right? Okay. So we're gonna do that. We are gonna just pop there. I think that'll do it. So did you see, I was just kind of pressing on these things. You might have to clean out your dye a little bit. We will do that later. So it does leave some things in there. You can use your dye brush to clean that right out. Not a big deal. We will worry about that later. You do get, this thing is messy. You get little bits and pieces all over the place. I should show you though. Look at that though. Like everything popped out of your, um, your cardstock almost perfectly, right? There's maybe that one little baby. I think that looks good. Okay, so again, we're gonna just dust those off over here. So we do have a little bit more. Should we do, let's see. We have to stamp, let's do our stamp and die cutting. Yeah, and then we're gonna put everything together, then we'll have it all cut and done. Okay, here I am. I'm like flinging everything everywhere, so where did I put some of my pieces that I need? Oh boy, ladies. Okay, seriously? Okay, so I got that and that. Here we go, this is what I'm looking for. These pieces are what I need right here. So we're gonna stamp our warm wishes for a happy Christmas. We've got our Just Jag, hello, Just Jade. Miss Charlene, welcome. Okay, warm wishes for a happy Christmas. Okay, that one goes there. Okay, we're just scooting this right out of the way. We're gonna die cut these, and then we're gonna emboss this one with the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. So let's do our die cutting first. Okay. All right, so once again, so again though, right? Platform one, two, and three. So you can see one, two, and three. I'm gonna put those all down just like back in the day. And actually I'm gonna flip it over because it looks like it could, could use a flip. We're gonna put those things right there. My dies that I just used the last time, good, okay. Found those, that one goes there, that one goes there. So this is the one we just have to be careful. This one, as long as it stays on the paper, that's all we need to worry about. That one needs to try to stay straight. Okay. There we go. Ooh, our snazzy new stamp and die cut emboss machine. Having so much fun with it. Okay. This one pops right out again with the stitching. Another one pops right out with the stitching, okay. Those and those. Now we are gonna do our embossing with this piece right here. So now this is when we do not need platform at number two. That is only for die cutting. You don't need to use that with embossing. So we're gonna use platform number one. It says right here, um, can you read this? Insert embossing folders hinge first, and then it tells you what you need. So with the 3D embossing folder, we need one, and then we actually only need number four, okay? You're gonna put your folder in between one and four. So we've got one right here, so we're gonna lay this down so we don't need either of the clear guys. We've got plate number four right here, okay, and embossing folder is here 
Yay. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Not, <laughs> it wasn't too hidden. Okay. So we've got our embossing folder. Flip our paper in there. We do want to make sure it's straight. Hinges go in first according to the directions on my plate number one. And then we've got plate number four we're going to put on top. And that, oops, let's move that guy out of the way too, is all we need to do our embossing. So let's check this one out. The Dainty Diamonds Embossing Folder. So there, okay, I think that's kind of the back side. And then for me, there's the front side with the little, it's like little sparkles in each of those little diagonals. Beautiful, huh? Okay. Scooting all that out of the way. Now, okay, we have everything ready to go. Let's just add some adhesive to our sentiment and get this kind of built up. So it's all ready to go. Again, we're gonna put our dimensionals on the back there, right? We are, now we're gonna tie, uh, nope, not yet, hold on, back it up. Let's put this piece together right here. Oh, because we do have one more die cutting to do. I forgot about that because I want to use this, okay, this die here. Okay, so we're going to use our white piece first. Then we're going to add our, sorry, just jade piece. So we need our adhesive, okay? So again, we're just going to put some adhesive in the corners. Okay, there we go. Is that running? Let's make sure. There we go. Now it's running. Okay. Okay. So first, oopsie daisy, flinging things everywhere. So we're going to lay this one down. And again, it really doesn't matter. Just get it on your white piece. Next, we want our real red piece. Can we just add our adhesive here? Okay. And then this one. Let me think about this. I want that one maybe right about, what am I trying to do? I wanna do bottom left. I think I kinda of like to do the same thing. So bottom left, so the other one's gonna go in top right. All right, so we've got that. And then we have got our garden green is our last piece, right? Okay. We're gonna add that one on there. I'm gonna flip this over again. Oops, I got some adhesive, that's right. So we're gonna press that down really firmly and then we're gonna die cut. This is kind of illegal. You're really not supposed to do this, but we're gonna die cut three layers with our, you know, they're little, right? There's not a lot to some of them, so I think it's gonna be all right. But yeah, don't go reporting me or anything, okay? <laughs> all right, here we go. We got our stamp and cut and emboss machine with platform number one. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever created quite a mess. You guys like would be laughing if you could see. We're going to use platform number two and number three, one of them. We're going to lay our paper and our die. And I want it to go, I'm trying to get it pretty well centered, right about, do, do, do. let's go like that, okay? Thank you, Philomena, I'm glad you like that. I'm kind of getting excited. It took me a little while. That, them bringing um, the holiday catalog out and available to everybody a month earlier than they normally do kind of threw me. Um, <laughs> I'm never ready in the summer, but putting it a month earlier than we normally do, I was like, what? So, I mean, I get it because then it gives everybody more time to uh, <laughs> um, order from the catalogs. But yes, now I'm ready to play with holiday stuff. And I believe this worked if it didn't. It's like stuck on there too. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, Sharon, we've all seen our own messes. Yes. Okay. There we go. So what do you think? So I don't know. I feel like you could use that for something fun, right? But that's what you end up with is that extra little baby. And then here is this fun like plaid piece with the fun scallop cutouts, right? Okay. So now we can finally finish putting our card together. So cute though. Okay, so we need a bunch of adhesive on this baby because it's pretty thick and we're putting it on our embossed piece, right? So we've got that. Everything is flinging everywhere, so, oh my gosh. Okay, so I like 
that maybe right about there. Right now, we are gonna tie a whisper white bow. This is our white seam binding ribbon. We're just gonna get a bunch of that so it's not in my way. Okay, we're just tying a pretty bow around these pieces. Okay, move that right there. Let's see, there we go. Give myself a little bit more room to work with that. Oh, I think Lily and Ella are coming down the stairs. Do they wanna come say hello, goodbye? I think they do. Come, just wave your hands under here. Ella, you wanna come say goodbye That's to everybody? So come here, bring Ella over here. Ella, will you do this? Can you go, hi? Here, let me hold your, can I hold your juice? Will you do that? Put your hand under there and say hi. <laughs> you don't want to? Look, come here. Hi guys, how is everybody doing today? Okay. <laughs> She's like, why am I waving at the white table? There you go, you take that back. Bye Ella, have a good day. Okay, sorry guys. I was just dreaming of how cute that was gonna be. But no one else is into it like I am. So, you know, including Lily. She's like, mom, that's so weird. What are we doing? And then that bow wasn't very good, so I had to redo it. Okay, there we go. All right, so look at, oh, I love that bow. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Nikki. I know that's how it goes. That happens to me all the time too. Okay, so now we can finally add some adhesive. And again, we're gonna use a bunch of adhesive on the back of this embossed piece. Okay, our dainty diamonds, right? Is that what it's called? Let me make sure. Yes, dainty diamonds embossing folder. I put that, make sure it's straight before I set it on there. I think it's, I think everything's straight, right? Okay, then our sentiment right here. Nikki, I don't think I even saw you pop on either. I don't know if I said hello to you yet. So hello, Miss Nikki out west, beautiful Utah. Okay, so that goes there and then have to break out, where did they go? Ah, here, underneath here. My holiday rhinestones, they're back. Not that I, not that they were ever gone, but I just haven't used them in a while. Now, where are my paper snips? Huh, oh, here they are, okay. Let's see, so we are gonna put a couple of our red holiday rhinestones. We're just gonna add them down to the bottom of our sentiment. And there, okay. I think we did it, ladies. Shoo! <laughs> oh, that's funny, Sharon. You don't miss the snail noise at all, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess that little tick, tick, tick noise. <laughs> oh, no, Darlene. <laughs> that's funny. We'll see. You could make Christmas cards, though, Darlene. So then maybe, you know, it's fun, right? Spending a little money to um, make some beautiful things and share them with others, right? It's worth it. It's totally worth it. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry, Nikki, that I missed you too, that I didn't see you pop on. I, I don't think, I really don't remember saying hello. So I'm glad everyone was here today. So thank you all for joining me. And just quick recap, right? So we've got our beautiful cards that we made today. So if you, especially if you're new to me and you don't know, this is how it works, right guys? If you put at least a $30 order in online between now and next Wednesday, you are gonna get one of each of these cards sent to you and your name is entered into the drawing to win these Hippo and Friends, right? Yes, Hippo and Friends dies that include the two label dies that we used right here and then that big die that fits right in there. This is an awesome set of dies, even if you don't need the hippos. The hippos are totally cute and you've got all these other little bits and pieces too, but I mean, honestly, the labels are fabulous all on their own, right? So, and then if you bump your order up to $50, somewhere I have buried underneath here, you can get the tutorial or the in color enamel dots, which is the free embellishment for August. So let me know if you guys have any questions. And don't forget too, if you if you have fallen in love with this bundle, the best year stamp set and the dies that are somewhere over here, maybe you wanna get the class to go kit because then you could make these cards yourself and then you can make all of these cards too, right? Beautiful, look at the plaids, love it, love it, love it. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd love to 
uh, get your name entered into the drawing. I'd love to send you these cards. I'd love to send you a to-go kit. Um, so thank you guys. You guys are all awesome. I love your, you're all so sweet and saying thank you. And I appreciate that so very much. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed Facebook Live today. I hope you have a great weekend, getting close to the end of summer. Don't say it though, please, not yet, right? Um, so yeah, I'm like, I don't want to stop talking, but I need to go sit down because I'm always exhausted when this is over. <laughs> All right. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Bye everybody. See you next Friday. Thank you.